shout out to Mr. Uh, no Good and Nasty Nate, man. Men amongst men, y'all need to go check out the uh, YouTube channel, man. They do food reviews, and that's what this video is about. Uh, we getting ready to hit to a famous spot, man. Uh, Durden's, Durden's Catering. We getting ready to go get some chicken grippers. This will be our first time going to get them. So, you know, we take a lot of people's word for it, but... This is our uh, little first little date night that we, you know, haven't had in about two years. So, you know, we decided let's go ahead and stop over here on uh, 8 Mile and Living Noise and check them out. Um, if y'all not up on Durden's, y'all can definitely check them out on Instagram. Chicken sandwiches will super super good so not just the chicken sandwiches <laughs> though man they, uh, the food period man mm -hmm. the food period we didn't watch a lot of food reviews man and like i said we we know some people who know how to eat good you yep. know what i'm saying we we, we take their word for it you know but we about to go see for ourselves and also just to show you know to uh, show some support you always want to support your own so especially black business man yep. definitely want to do that this man you know took the time and built this thing from the ground up and he's still going forward so you know shout out to him man uh you know chef tony man and uh you know we finna go review this food man when we get the food we'll bring y'all back and uh show y'all all the goodness show what it's looking like, so. uh, you know this is a kickoff to something that we've been wanting to do on our channel for a long time so we looking forward to y'all feedback man and, Bring y'all some different content. Yeah, know? something different. Mix it up, man. Because like I said, we haven't had, really had an opportunity to do a lot, man, with these situations that's going on. So uh, some good food is always the right place to go. <laughs> um, so we'll catch y'all guys when we get the food, man. I'll see y'all in a minute. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? So we here at Durden's, home of the gripper. As y'all can see, we got the food truck over here. And you got your main building over here. We on 8 Mile. A lot of people, uh, y'all know where this spot is at. Uh, just want to say something, man. I just want to pray for the families of the people that just lost their life on 8 Mile. Y'all probably catch it on the news if you are here in Detroit. Uh, hearing that three people were shot, we was on our way here, and it was blocked off, and it's a, it's a huge scene out there. So don't know exactly what happened, but, uh, man, it's, you know, it's a never-ending story here in the D. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of the reasons why I took me and my family away from here, man, because it's outrageous, dude. You know, the, the killing of each other that's going on is stupid, man. It's stupid. You know, so some of the reasons people getting killed these days around here is, is stupid, man. So, um, but like I said, you know, I, I send my prayers out to that family, man. We finna go in here, get this food and, uh, you know, see, see, see see what all the hype is about mr chef tony just left himself he just pulled off so um we gonna go in here and see what it's about we back we back man we got the food um and we we about to show y'all what the goodness is about um found out what happened out here on eight mile in the city in the city man check y'all people um out here on eight mile they got it blocked off three people were shot one killed um you know, my, my, my prayers to their family, whoever it is, man, just senseless stuff, man, like that. It, it got no place, it got no place in this type of, uh, this type of world, man. So, uh, yeah, but on the flip side of things, we got them grippers, <laughs> got them grippers. What's what the food looking like? Let's see what this is about. So... They gave us some dessert. Courtesy dessert. We didn't even ask for okay. it. Okay. Uh, banana pudding, peach cobbler. As Mr. Nate and Miss No Good would say, napkins. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go, baby. All right, what we got? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that thing. Now, oh, let me get this in here for this for y'all. Look at that thing now. These Parmesan fries. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Goodness. See that? Look at that there. Look at that. Oh. Help me. Mm. Mm. Got the chicken with the slaw on top. Oh, and they got the sauce dripping on the side. Man. Y'all see that? Y'all excuse me for what I'm finna do to this uh, to this sandwich. Let us pray. <laughs> um, 
let us say grace. Let's go. All right, now we can eat. Mm. The Parmesan fries is good. It's not overpowering. It's just right. Like literally just right. Hey, these some hitters, man. These here some hitters. Kind of mad. I only got a little bit. Yeah. I, I, man. Uh, I want to stop eating them. Mmm. Let's see what this sandwich is about. Ooh. I normally don't eat pickles on my sandwiches, but I'm going to try it today. Mm. Our son would say, just hit different. They did their thing, man. They definitely did their thing. Mm. It's it's not spicy. <clears throat> it's got a little kick to it. But even though it's called a spicy gripper, it's like a sweet sauce on it. Plus the coleslaw. And it, it just balanced out perfectly. Balanced out perfectly, man. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. It's moist. It Tender. ain't dry. Tender and moist. And That's key, man. You see the juice. Man. Like, this is moist. Y'all probably really can't see because of the reflection of the sun, but... This is ridiculous here. This is good. I'm hooked. I'm hooked, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They about to have me driving to the city, man. It's the chicken sandwich version. That's this is good. I really don't want to compare it to something else. Mm -mm. But that coleslaw is on point. This was made with love. And and if you find the D. And you had Lou's Deli. We got a sandwich called the Counterman's Treat. And we're going to be doing a review on that. It's a corned beef sandwich with slaw on it. And the slaw, I mean, it balances out the, the saltiness of the corned beef perfectly. This balances out the heat perfectly. Mm -hmm. This sauce is superb, man. I don't know what he put in this sauce, but this sauce is superb. Shout out to Chef Tony, man. Because, uh, yeah, you just made my day with this. Normally, I don't eat spicy stuff. I was kind of concerned about that. But this right here. This is fire. My fat self can go ahead and get another one. I, this is fire. I'm not even exaggerating, mm -hmm. man. Especially for y'all, man. Y'all know I'm not going to hold you for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. This this, this right here is this is it. This is good. This is it. Damn, some pie pies. This is it. <laughs> This is it. Mm. Mm. Y'all need to get to the D now. Eight mile and living noise. Open Monday through Sunday. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Monday through Sunday. Close at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on Sundays. 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 Um, I believe 8 p.m. during the, the weekdays. Come get you one, man. Come get you one. 
once again, a shout out to Chef Tony's man. We have man. other food too, like soul food, but we definitely want to try this. This is the famous. Because this is what they're known for. Right. So, we wanted to try this first before we, you know, dabble into some of the soul food items. Mm -hmm. But shout out to Durden's, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm, good. We be back. I'm about to dig in this thing. We be back. All right, y'all. We back, man. I just uh, had to step away, finish my food properly. Uh -huh. We 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 smash. Yeah, it's, it's completely gone. It's nothing in there. It's a wrap. Um, we still do got the desserts. Wanted to show y'all that she got the banana pudding. I got the peach cobbler. She don't eat peach cobbler. Yeah. So I'm gonna do one. She gonna do the other. Um, that's what we looking like. If y'all can see that. This is this banana, banana pudding. Ooh, crust everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. Cheers. Hold on, let me. I'm trying to get. everybody's banana pudding either. Who who's cooking this stuff in there? We this man. Y'all missing out. The right in the, the right amount of vanilla wafers. Okay. Y'all are if you don't put vanilla wafers in your banana pudding then you ain't making no banana pudding. This, this crust is everything, man. The banana. Mm. This is good. And I haven't been eating nothing sweet, so this right here. I'm kind of glad you don't eat peach cobbler because this is this is crazy. <laughs> so what are you saying? You don't want to share? No, I want you to taste it because, man, these peaches. Mm -mm. It's not overly sweet. Oh, man. I just don't like peach cobbler. Like, my mama make it. My grandma, she used to make it. I just n was never a big fan of it. I tried it. I didn't like it. Mm. Banana pudding was my go-to. And like I said, I don't eat everybody's banana pudding. But this right here. Mmm. Mmm. Make sure I get all the peach taste out of my mouth. And they use vanilla wafers is what I like. Some mm -hmm. people be using off-brand cookies and, you know, wafers or whatever. Oh. This is vanilla wafer. Oh. oh. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. What the hell? Whatever. That's it. Mm. You got your... Hmm. Man. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, get out of here before I go walk back up to this place and get something else, man. This is uh got me in here sweating. You know you eating good when you start sweating. This is good eating, man. This is good eating. Mm. The banana's fresh. It's not soggy. Cause I didn't have some banana pudding where it was soggy. Bro. I don't want no soggy uh wafer right or too creamy like this is this is just right and it's crumbled up in there though you know like you got some some pieces in there i'm sorry y'all let me show y'all what it looked like on the spoon because i'm i'm about done over here 100 percent smash mode <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, we don't want to keep y'all too long. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get on uh, with the rest of our day, man. And, I ain't got nothing to say because when I eat and yeah. I'm quiet, it mean, that means it's good. For the last time, I just want to say uh, shout out to Durden's Catering, man, and uh, 
to Chef Tony, man. You're doing an excellent thing over here. Um, and I wish you all the success in the world, man. Um, keep doing y'all thing. Mm -hmm. This food is delicious. Come support, y'all. Yeah. Come yeah, support. Definitely come support. We are south of 8 Mile on Living Noise. Right um, next door to Baker's. Right next, next door to Baker's for all you old schoolers out there. Um, come check them out. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, take you can take my word for it. So uh, we don't go and get out of here. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, this beautiful day. And uh, we catch y'all guys later. Peace. Peace.